Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. I won't wish you luck on the hope. Can't rely on luck. Rigorous calculations and sound logic. That's the ticket. What's on your mind? Edgewater, Captain. We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Haha. Uh -huh. Something you need? You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing, and next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of Zero-G rolling out the front door and into the road. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch, making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero-G? exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Rose still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Describe the nature of the accident. Uh, let's say, Cap. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. This area is currently experiencing a surprise audit. Turn around and head back to your designated workplace or domicile. Oh, uh, yes. Absolutely. A real stickler for the rules. Hard-ass Hogarth, that's what they call me. That's, uh, that's Hogarth with one G, by the way, if you're putting in a good word with the Honorable Adjutant. Don't let me get in your way. Go on through.
something you need? Germs and contaminants have been neutralized.
When I was stranded in... We are now in orbit above Byzantium. just been informed that the problem of Edgewater has been permanently resolved. You should be proud of yourself, Captain. You're on the verge of making history. There's just one last job I need you to do for me. I've made arrangements for you to journey to the Hope. You will board your former colony ship, reactivate its navigation systems, and skip the colony ship into orbit around Tartarus. Once the Hope is in position, we will have everything we need to begin healing the colony. You've proven yourself more than capable. I don't know if there's anyone better suited to this mission than you. Give yourself some credit, Captain. You've come this far without dying in some senseless accident. Clearly, the Architect has a plan for you. Technology, Captain. The same technology that allowed you and your fellow colonists to make the journey from Earth to Halcyon. Under the Lifetime Employment Program, every suitable worker in Halcyon will be placed in suspended animation. The Hope is the perfect storage facility for the colony's workers. I won't lie to you. We're going to have to dispose of some of the Hope's settlers in order to make room for Halcyon's rotating workforce. But try to understand. Many of your fellow settlers are beyond saving. They've been frozen for far too long, and the revival process would be lethal. Convenience. The Hope is a massive ship and we'll need to make use of it. Our facilities in Tartarus will benefit from having the ship within orbit. The Hope has been out of commission for years. You'll need to connect your own ship to the Hope's auxiliary power supply. Then make your way to the Hope's bridge. Your ship's computer will activate the Hope's skip drive and bring you into orbit around Tartarus. I have the highest faith in your abilities, Captain. You and I are going to save Halcyon together. <laughs> <laughs> 